If these walls could talk, they would tell of the commitment to congenital cardiac care that the physicians and staff have made at the Heart Institute at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. They would tell stories of the many patients whose lives were saved by the expertise of these congenital heart specialists. If these walls could talk, they would tell of our diagnostic and therapeutic treatments utilizing advanced technology and state-of-the-art equipment. And they would tell of the parents who trusted their most precious gifts to a team comprised of some of the most skilled congenital cardiologists, surgeons, anesthesiologists, nurses, and technicians in the world. Uh, I remember uh, my first day in the pediatric rotation uh, doing cardiothoracic surgery. And, and after that first day at work, I realized that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. One of the things that sets us apart is the fact that we have a, a real complete program in the sense that we can do the simplest operation in the world and we can do the most complex operation in the world. There are very few programs in the country that offer from closure of an atrioceptal defect to uh, double lung transplantation to heart transplantation to the uh, placement of a ventricular assist device. Basically, you shouldn't be in a job that you can't wake up at 3 in the morning and do with passion. And that's how I, I function. I, I, I love to come in in the morning. It's not, and my job here is interesting. I'm both a pediatric cardiologist, so I take care of kids with heart conditions, but I also oversee the practice of cardiology, and I get to make uh, decisions that help more kids get better care, and that's, that's a very easy thing for me to do. I think that we have medical experts within the adult congenital heart disease team that have really focused their careers on taking care of this group of patients. And that's something that we've established here. And that's really not available at any other center. And that's something that we've maximized for their care. This field is growing so fast that really is a significant challenge for us, but obligate us to improve and read and investigate how can we do this better every day. When the parents arrive into the intensive care unit, they're very stressed, they're afraid, and I believe if we provide the support at any time during this disease and bring an optimistic approach, even though that we are in difficult situations, they feel that all of us, including the parents, we have the same goal. The child must get better. Different patients tell me how different it is here at Children's Hospital, how interested we are in their child, how everybody from at any level of their interaction with a patient uh, really seems to have the patient's best interests in heart and, and really is willing to go the extra mile to make uh, that patient's experience and that patient's uh, treatment a success. Interventional cardiology is a subspecialty within pediatric cardiology where what we do is actually fix problems in the heart doing it minimally invasive through an IV. Through that IV, uh, we're going to advance and place a catheter inside the heart, and through that catheter, we're going to be closing, for instance, a heart defect or opening a vessel that's too narrow. So fixing the problem the child has in the heart without actually having to do an open heart procedure. There is clearly a lot of emotion going on, and we take care of very sick kids. And sometimes, you know, my eyes fill with tears too. I have kids of my own, and we get very attached to families. The experience of the Heart Institute at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh and ECMO and VADS is extensive, both in length of time and in areas of expertise. And by the late 1970s and throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh really pioneered its use, uh, first for lung conditions and then ultimately for the treatment of children with heart failure. Ventricular assist devices, sometimes also called artificial hearts, uh, really started to become available for adults in the late 1980s and throughout the 1990s. At that time, there were no small devices for children, and so ECMO was used. Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh also led the way in adapting this adult technology uh, for older kids or adolescents. You get to know the kids, and you really get to know their families as well they're waiting for a heart transplant and they're on a ventricular assist device. 
And every day you walk into their room uh, and you know everyone hopes that you've walked into the room to tell them that today's the day they're getting a transplant. When the child does receive a transplant and it's, it's successful and they leave the hospital uh, and you see them in the hall on the way out and they give you a high five and their parents shake their hand, your hand or they hug you, um, it's truly one of the most rewarding things uh, that anyone can imagine. If these walls could talk, they would tell of the cutting edge research being done to develop the next generation of ventricular assist devices to help hearts heal, or to buy precious time for patients waiting for heart transplants. They would tell of patients receiving a lifetime of comprehensive care through our ongoing cardiac and adult congenital care programs. From minimally invasive techniques and non-invasive imaging technologies to the operating room and our cardiac intensive care unit with its own highly trained and dedicated staff, we can provide the best care for any patient at any age with any cardiac condition. If these walls could talk, they would tell how we give more families hope with our physician's expertise exceeded only by their compassion for their patients. This creates a unique healing environment at the Heart Institute so that patients can go on to enjoy life far beyond these walls. <laughs>